All right, I'll go ahead and get started then. It's 2.30 Eastern. My name's Rob Klaus. I'm with Unique Management Services. Uh, we're based uh, in Southern Indiana, just outside Louisville, Kentucky. So greetings to all of you. It's great to be with you. Today, I'm uh, just gonna be talking a little bit about our uh, communication platform called MessageB. Um, MessageB is designed to be an all-in-one, all-encompassing communication tool for libraries. That can mean both your day-to-day -day transactional notices, uh, like overdues and hold notifications, things to pick up, things to bring back to the library. It can also include your marketing communication. So things from newsletters to welcome journeys, reactivation, card expirations, that kind of thing. Uh, and doing that in a multi-channel way. So um, email, automated voice, and text messaging. Uh, so for us uh, lately, uh, top of mind for a lot of evergreen system administrators is text messaging and the challenges that uh, they might have with that right now. The evergreen system uh, sends out text messages uh, through what we call email gateway. Uh, so it's essentially just sending an email to the to a specific address for uh, a consumer's cell phone number. And then each carrier has a different email domain. They receive those emails and turn them into text messages. The challenge that a lot of libraries have right now is that that's a very unreliable way of getting communications through. So the carriers certainly deprioritize that. If you're sending a lot of volume, um, those things can either not be delivered, maybe delivered hours later, um, just making it a very unreliable form of communication for you. And in this day and age, uh, consumers do expect to be able to communicate with text messaging. So MessageB uh, is capable of doing that uh, through what we would consider native text messages. So a 10 digit phone number that is specific to your library, your system, could potentially even be an existing phone number that you have. Unique also works with the carriers and the system through which um, use cases are registered with the telecom industry for sending text messages. Uh, we handle that for libraries and systems, and we can also help intervene and make sure that your messages are getting delivered. Um, right now with your email gateways, if things aren't working, who are you going to call, right? Um, so message B can definitely uh, improve your delivery rates. We've seen libraries with delivery rates as low as 40 or 50 percent with the email gateway. And depending on how sanitized your, your phone numbers are, um, certainly 90, 95% plus delivery rates are, are definitely achievable. Um, Message B comes with a number of different um, uh, benefits. So I'm gonna share my screen and just show you a little bit about that. Part of that is visibility. Um, right now you really have very limited understanding or knowledge of how your communications are being received. Uh, so in the message B portal, you can choose your channel, email, SMS, or voice. You can look at everything if you want. You can specify a notification type or look at everything and then your date range. At a glance, you can very quickly see how many notifications are being sent, how many are successful, how many are failing. You can see your failures and the reason why your notifications are failing. Uh, that's at the... Um, macro level, and then at the more detailed level, you can search for a patron's email, phone number, or barcode. We can get and see I've put my name in here, and then a date range, and then we can see all of the notifications in that date range that were sent to somebody with that email address. We can see the date and the time, the final status. We can see some details about when it might have gone. If there was a failure, we can see the reason for the failure. Um, we can also see a preview of the message. So this is a newsletter, but you could see uh, a copy of the message that was sent to the patron. Uh, from the standpoint of emails, the big benefit here is, A, we're sending the emails. We kind of take that over from you, but also uh, give the library the opportunity to really put their stamp on what their notifications look like. Uh, so the branding, the brand colors and standards, having menus up here. Um, being able to promote uh, events within these emails are all possible. So thinking of uh, a consortial setting, uh, we can do this for uh, at the system level or each member of the consortium can optionally have their own branding on their emails, their own email address that things are coming from. Uh, and there's just a lot of flexibility with these kind of communications. So in this example for Pima County, 
We're also doing an entire communication in Spanish. Their promotional elements are in the alternative language as well. Um, and these kinds of things can be pre-scheduled in advance. Just really giving the library the opportunity to leverage these communications um, to, to uh, promote aspects of their library resources and events. So unique management. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity and time uh, speaking to you today. Hope you have a great conference. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, next we have Equinox. All right, looks like you're ready to go. <laughs> Take it away. Thank you, Gina. Uh, welcome everybody. Um, I am Felicia Boudreau. I'm the business development manager at Equinox and my role is to connect you with our products and services. Um, Equinox provides consulting, migration services, hosting and support and training and development uh, for a variety of open source products. We have a long history of support and development work for Evergreen going back to the beginning of the project. But the fastest growing uh, area for us is with Aspen Discovery. And that's what I wanna talk to you a little bit about today. Um, Aspen Discovery is an open source discovery layer that offers your patrons really great searching and browsing options for your physical and electronic collections. It is a terrific complement to Evergreen. Um, Aspen offers a number of integrations for e-content sources with API access for OverDrive and Libby, Hoopla, RB Digital, Cloud Library, and Boundless. The benefit of your API driven integrations is the ability to place holds and check out titles directly from your search results and from your detailed record displays. So you can see an example of that right here. Um, where API access isn't available, mark records from your e-content providers can be sideloaded directly into Aspen. And so here you can see an example of that. This is sideloaded canopy content um, where it is visible here as an e-video and with a link to access that video online. So um, Aspen also supports the integration of a variety of enrichment sources, both free and subscription services, um, as well as integrations for open archives, event management, and online payments. You can also do things like um, index your library, um, website, libguides, um, whatever you would like to do, we can at least talk with you about what kind of content that you want to integrate. If we don't already support it, then there's potential for development for it. Um, Equinox can also distribute white label versions of the Aspen mobile app with your library's branding. So that mobile app um, has the same browsing and searching capabilities as the web version. Um, it displays records from your same e-content providers via API and side loaded records. You get near real time updates for title and item availability with real time updates for your patron information, has custom push notifications and one of my favorite features, the self checkout option for physical and API driven e content so you can check out materials through your phone. Um, we have done a number of implementations for Evergreen Libraries in the last couple of years. These are the ones that, that I have listed here, um, representing more than 250 library systems in the United States. So we're really proud of that. Um, Equinox is also using its extensive knowledge of Evergreen to contribute improvements to Aspen for Evergreen integration too. So this is just a few examples of the things that we have been doing uh, on the development front. Now, Evergreen takes great pride in the fact that we make implementation really easy for our patron or for our clients. So um, we've been happy to receive great feedback from them about succeeding in, in that particular goal. But my favorite feedback so far is this one from one of our clients that said that they have seen uh, a, a positive impact on their services. So um, Aspen is making it easier for their library patrons to find their materials and truly maximize the investment that they're making in their collections and we think that could that would be true for anybody who uses it now how do you learn more you can come by our booth or you can send me a private chat i'm going to be at the conference for the rest of the day and all day tomorrow um, i'll be attending some sessions so private chat might be the easier way when it's not um, exhibitor time you can also learn more at our website 
And you can email me directly at felicia at equinoxoli.org, or you can see there's also a generic info at equinoxoli.org. Um, I also want to mention, uh, well, I hit a hit a link when I didn't mean to. I also want to mention that we're raffling off a really sweet Lego set. So if you want to go over and sign up for our email list, uh, you can be entered to win that, that Lego set. I, I want this one myself, but I'm going to have to buy it. So thank you very much for the opportunity opportunity to talk to you. Um, it's been a great pleasure and we will uh, let you move on to the next one. All right. Thank you. And uh, thank that you. was Equinox, gonna... who was, uh, sorry, I should have mentioned uh, what things <laughs> people are sponsoring. Uh, that is our platform sponsor and Unique also uh, was one of the sponsors for the keynote. Uh, so next we have Stack Courier, who was a pre-conference sponsor. You can go ahead when you're ready. Thank you so much. My name is Aisa Chubai and I am with Stat Courier Service. We are a nationwide logistics company. We are based in St. Louis, Missouri. We've been in business for over 25 years and we are currently in 41 states and growing. We really take pride in delivering what's important to our clients. Um, we service state, regional, county, and interstate library consortiums nationwide. Our logistics management solutions include a full range of services from scheduled to on-demand service, expedited deliveries to overnight through a three-day library delivery service system. I will be more than happy to discuss more of what we do. Um, we offer a range of services, as I mentioned. Um, customized solutions is the most important thing. We offer barcoding, logistics and routing, as well as real-time tracking if needed. If um, any of you all would like to hear more, I could certainly get more granular. You can just join me in the um, virtual booth and I'd be more than happy to discuss our services further. Thank you all. Okay, thank you. All right, that was Stack Courier. Uh, next is Kipu that actually sponsored our uh, Hackfest LB on Thursday. So whenever you're ready, you could start. All right, thank you. Whoops, wrong screen. Okay, <laughs> I'm here. Um, so my name is Melissa Stockton and I am one of the partners of Kipu Group. And I just wanna give you a, kind of a general idea of our company and what we do. Um, I will obviously highlight the things that have been involved with Evergreen. So this is actually my cast of characters. Um, so we'll start with Kipu Group. We've actually been around since 2005. We started with two librarians and a programmer. And what we really did is we just offered technical services, basically programming. And so projects over time became products. So that's kind of what we've got. And what I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about is what are the products that um, have come out of Kipu Group. So first uh, up is honestly probably my favorite product in some ways. It's called ePass. It's a museum or attraction pass management system. We developed this back in 2011 with Contra Costa County. It was really developed to be a consortial product, um, but individual libraries can use it too. And what's really nice is we've just made it um, so that everyone can control who can get in and look at passes. And then you can work very, very closely with your attractions to really limit when and how often individuals can get passes. Um, so we're very happy to say that in 2011, it started with Contra Costa and four other libraries. And now it's throughout the state, for example, in California. Patron Incident Tracking System, otherwise known as PITS, is another one of our products that maybe isn't the fun side of libraries, but is definitely something that I think we all understand safety and security being an issue in libraries today. We actually developed PITS back in 2014 with Berkeley Public Library. 
It's a web-based hosted solution that allows you to enter and manage your um, any kind of incidents, honestly, um, that happen at your library. It is customized basically during implementation, your policies and procedures as far as what rules can be broken and what are the consequences of those actions. All of that's customized. And one of the big deals, honestly, with PITS is automated notifications to let folks know what's going on. PITS is one of our products that does not touch an ILS at all. So not totally re related to an Evergreen conference, but honestly related to almost every public library now. Let's get into some very heavy duty integration. And that's gonna start with our eCard product. eCard is online patron registration. And this was actually our first product that we developed way back in 2006, again with Contra Costa County um, out in California. The kind of key point for us in this area is we customize the process. So what we're trying to do is make that registration process meet and match your policies, be that for an individual library or for a consortia. eCart does address verification. It makes sure that address exists and it checks service area. We then offer other kind of higher level verifications that have to do with name and online identity kind of verifications. eCard is uh, very much integrated into the ILS. And so it is something where a user would fill out a form and then we at Kipu usually use an API to write the new patron record. We've had great um, experiences with a number of the um, Evergreen libraries up to this point. For example, well, King County actually was our first eCard Evergreen site, um, but we've got CW Mars and Noble and Georgia Pines. And the really exciting thing is that in this summer, we're going to be working with Equinox to actually get kind of that core code created so that hopefully more folks will be into eCard or be able to use eCard with Evergreen um, in the near future. eRenew is the last thing I want to talk about, online card renewal, developed in 2020 um, with a couple of different libraries, Santa Clara County, Hamilton up in Canada. We allow folks to do the self-service for that card renewal. Once again, it's customized. That's what our specialty is. You can do address verification. Once again, checking an address and seeing where that address is, if it's within a service area or not. And we can also do other kinds of verification on top of that. So that is, um, basically a look at Kipu and what we do. We're in the vendor area for this and we'd love to chat with you um, if you wanna, if you have any questions. So thank you for your attention. Awesome, thank you Kipu. All right, uh, so the last one uh, for today before we get back into the tracks is Mobius. I believe that Mobius uh, was also the other sponsor for the pre-conference yesterday. Just letting you know you are muted if... Uh... Okay. Um, hi, I'm Debbie Lukenbill, and I am the um, Associate Director for Open Source Initiatives here at Mobius. Um, and I just kind of wanted to take um, 
my time today to just give an introduction for folks who don't know. Um, Mobius is a uh, 501c3 nonprofit uh, library organization, and we help uh, to promote resource sharing um, and varieties of other sharing um, between libraries. And Mobius was founded in 1998. Um, as a consortium of academic libraries in Missouri uh, so that they could share materials back and forth across the state. So we manage a courier system. Um, and uh, since 1998 uh, until this month, um, those libraries have been on innovative Sierra products and InReach, uh, and they're in the process right now of switching to Folio and uh, OpenRS. So that's exciting times here. Um, and uh, Mobius became its own. It was originally part of the University of Missouri um, here in Columbia, Missouri, and then became its own nonprofit 12 years later in 2010. Um, and in 2014, uh, added its first out-of-state member, Tulsa City, Oklahoma, uh, Tulsa City County Library System in Oklahoma, um, and has expanded since then. So Mobius has gone from 50 initial libraries to 80 and a variety, mostly still academics, but there's 11 publics and some special libraries um, and the state library as well. So uh, that's kind of who Mobius is. <laughs> and we started um, helping, uh, we started at hosting a uh, Evergreen Consortium in Missouri in 2011, 2012, um, and then started decided to expand our services to offer that kind of hosting to others who may need hosting services. So that's kind of what we provide um, Evergreen side. Um, we host on the cloud, generally the Google Cloud platform. Um, and uh, so we um, going to, we call our service MOSS, Mobius Open Source Solutions. Um, and so we widely support Evergreen um, on our, our page here. We have Archive Space and Omeka also. Right now, we only offer support for those for the Mobius membership, um, but we do offer Evergreen hosting if you don't want to have your own servers anymore or uh, IT folks. Um, and so that is kind of who we are. And Mobius from the beginning has been, even before we were really committed to open source and open access and um, all of that, we were about fostering uh, cultures of collaboration and community. That's always been an aspect of Mobius um, and uh, about resource sharing and cost effectiveness. So we continue those and we also um, have those for our, uh, our MOSS clients. And so, um, we are happy to talk with anyone. I'll be in the exhibitor area at the Mobius booth, um, as well as attending a lot of the sessions. So uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to um, talk to you about them in the exhibitor area and uh, or just shoot me an email. So thanks very much. All right, great. Um... So in about like uh, eight-ish minutes, we'll be starting up on track two. Uh,